Ooh. Officer learned a lot. Why would you do that? I hope you're doing well as always flourishing in your life and beyond i hope you are feeling the fall season i'm definitely feeling it i can't wait to go pumpkin shopping i even busted out my dark lip gloss <laughs> y'all we're feeling fall in our camp jewels and we are going to continue on with the halloween saga now i know that we have a pack to watch all of the Halloween movies. And initially I said, we are gonna watch them all, every single one in chronological release order. We've watched a bunch. We're eight Halloween films deep. We have four movies to go. And then the newest movie that comes out on the 14th. <sighs> Y'all we're out of time, okay? <laughs> so I have made an executive decision. We are gonna skip ahead and we're gonna start on the new timeline. Not because we're ignoring the Rob Zombie Halloweens. We're still gonna watch them. The pack is strong but we don't have time to watch them right now and still do all of the films that I want to watch for this season without only watching Halloweens because there are people out there who are not on our Halloween journey and we need to still respect their spooky time okay <laughs> we will watch the Rob Zombie remakes after we finish the newest timeline because they're set aside anyway they're not continuations of anything and I don't think that they're crucial in any way to us understanding the new timeline they're remakes of of the original one and two so later Rob we will talk later okay in the meantime this one is Halloween 2018 it's actually just called Halloween came out in 2018 it is the return of Laurie Strode Halloween 1978 is the originator for this timeline and then this is supposed to be the next movie in that we're pretending that two H2O resurrection and the thorn trilogy never happened Rob Zombie doesn't exist and we are here in the new land of Michael Myers I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do with this y'all I mean this is 40 over 40 years so it's been 44 years since Laurie Strode first faced Michael. I don't know <laughs> what they're gonna put her through, but I'm excited to see what it is, y'all. And I got my spook elixir. <sighs> I'm ready, y'all. I'm so ready. <laughs> oh, these are also Blumhouse films? Girl, <laughs> they are really leading the way in spook. So many of these movies that I've seen that I've loved have been this production company. Oh, we're in a ward. His voice honestly sounds like Dr. Loomis. <laughs> R.I.P. Donald. Testing one, two, three. We are now at Smith's Grove. Cursed. Rehabilitation facility. We're here today to interview a patient who spent the last 40 years in captivity. Is that Lori? All accounts is not uttered a word. This monster. Y'all, has Smith's Grove ever helped a patient? Ever, ever, ever? <laughs> Afternoon, I'm Dr. Lambus, I think. We were hoping to have this opportunity before he's transferred to a new facility. So it's Michael. For years he's been kept here to be studied. I suppose the state has lost interest in discovering anything further. Well, that's why we're here. Michael has been my life's obsession. I was a student of Dr. Loomis before he passed oh. away. And I lobbied the University of Illinois to be assigned to Michael myself. Damn. Dr. Loomis was the only one to see him in the wild. <laughs> The wild is right. <laughs> that bitch was wild. There he is. He can't speak. Um. He just chooses not to. <laughs> what is this black top? He was watching you as you arrived. Oh my god. This is the bleakest recess I've ever seen. <laughs> Please. Step up to the inner light and no further. Honestly, this Michael? chessboard is giving squid game. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Michael. Hello, Michael. I've been following your case for years. I'd like to know more. Michael never has much to say. <laughs> do you ever think about them, Michael? I said do not cross the line, please. Don't get cute. You don't know nothing. <laughs> Does he have a regular face in this version? If you pull a wig out of this bag. <laughs> you feel it, don't you, Michael? The essence of that mask? You feel the mask. What? The other patients are responding to the vibrations that the mask is Say emitting. Michael. Say something! Why are they acting like the dogs in the thing? What are you responding to? Girl, I'm with you. Let's leave. She seems disturbed. Why is there an alarm now? Why are you ringing the alarm? Say something! 
wow, this one already feels very realistic. I don't know. <laughs> they got me with this damn theme. I can't help it. I love the franchise. Having witnessed the animal fail to provoke any sort of response, we now track down its counterpart. Your study is inhumane. One monster has created another, <laughs> and although the metaphysical lines of blood and slight both exist in isolation, fettered by their own fear and hatred of one another. Spooky. <laughs> yeah, girl, that's what we're here for. Let me this. Spooky. <laughs> Journalists don't pay for their interviews. Well, I don't know why you think you're gonna get it for free. You see, I'm out here living in isolation, fettered by my own fear. I probably don't keep a job, do I? Yes. Give me the cash. Um, we're looking for Laurie Strode. We're making a podcast. And, we're investigative um, journalists. Girl. <laughs> we've traveled a very long way. How does three thousand dollars sound? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a nice supplement to my government benefits. <laughs> Cause you know she in here living on disability and rightfully so. <laughs> Cause Michael has disabled her emotionally. Oh, <laughs> it's giving Sydney scream three. <laughs> oh, I believe there's a lot to learn from the horrors you experienced. There's nothing to learn. There are no new insights. She said I done told so the story time and time again. Who? The boogeyman. I read you quoted. You don't believe in the boogeyman. I believe in Michael Myers, deranged serial killer. Well, then you need to leave. Boogeyman. You don't know nothing. Well, you should. Right, you gonna die <laughs> messing around in this without believing. Michael Myers is a human being who killed his sister when he was six years old. Debatable. And he came after you. That's why your story is so important. My story? Two failed marriages. Rocky relationship with your daughter and granddaughter. Michael Myers murdered five people. And he's a human being we need to understand. And I have a basket case. They're transferring him. Tomorrow, it's at o'clock. <laughs> you think I don't know? I keep tabs on that fucker. Let's talk about when the state came to take your daughter away. She was 12 years old. What, what? They huh? said you're an unfit mother. Uh-oh. How long until you regain custody? I didn't. Oh. I think he might speak with you. Well, I don't want to speak with his ass. Why don't you sit down with him and say all the things you must be longing to say. To a monster who doesn't speak? Girl, Love please. Yourself free yourself. Leave the money on my coffee table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll accept my payment. <laughs> okay. Get up. Morning. I rescheduled my last session so I can make it tonight. Oh my god! 13 going on 30. Violet! The National Honor Society, that is a very big deal. They don't fail me though. They had a reputation. Right. There's nothing like that you're gonna see when you meet him tonight. They're all nice guys until they get you pregnant, and you gotta drive in their pickup trucks, and you got children, and you clean guns, and you like to get high with them, and then y'all get fat. Hey, Dad, can you stop? Right. Like, what is the future you're describing? Because it ain't mine. <laughs> Did you invite Grandmother like you said you would? That's, That's Lori's right. granddaughter. You said that you... Oh, she's not gonna be able to come, honey. I'm sorry. Really? Maybe she's agoraphobic. It's cognitive behavioral therapy. Did you really invite her? Hey, I love you. So my mom's a liar. What happened? I mean, she never even contacted her. Mm. I don't know. Because I called her myself. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in my family like turns into total nutcase this time of year. Well, you guys girl, you got baggage. That is scary to have a bunch of your friends get butchered by some random crazy person. Is it though? Because mm. there's a lot worse stuff that's happening today, and like, <laughs> I mean, what? Then a butchering? Being killed by one guy with a knife is not that big of a deal. Okay, we'll see how you feel when you get it, <laughs> Daniel Boone. Shut the fuck up, Dave. I agree. Shut up. I'm sorry. Yeah, shut up, Dave. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's cool if you guys might explode one of these pumpkin heads. <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> This Johnny Appleseed motherfucker. <laughs> I would not allow it. Granddaughter, do better. Do you have everything for your costume? More focused on tonight. I thought you were joking when you said your parents were old fashioned. Be nice. I'm excited for tonight. Okay. You guys are just barf. Oh, our classic classroom scene. Lori! Is she trying to keep an eye on you this season? I can't accept this. She brought all the money for you? For whatever your heart desires. Oh my god. That's a grandma. <laughs> Go somewhere. Go to Mexico. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can. She said, be free. I wish I could. Look, don't worry about your mom. 
She'll get over it. Why can't you? Because, girl, <laughs> I barely survived. You don't know what I went through. Say goodbye to Michael and get over it. Girl, <laughs> fuck you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Easier said than done. You've never really had trauma like this. She says, stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. Oh. Not to be a, like a gun porn enthusiast, but something about this gets my heart racing. <laughs> it's the way she's ready to not die at any cost. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Nothing folks. Keeping evil alive. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be with you to my stories. Life's sentence extinct. <laughs> my hero must just to hear for myself that his vitals no longer function and immediately incinerate the body. Oh, my God. It needs to die. Dr. Loomis said, kill it dead. Kill it dead. <laughs> Goodness. Miss Lori, are you planning to kill him in transit, girl? Michael Myers is still my patient, so I've seen my duty through till the end. He's a good Dr. Loomis stand-in. He was clearly <laughs> raised by the master. I will be with it until it changes hands. <laughs> Did you talk to grandmother? Yeah, <laughs> that we call grandmother. Like we have no familiarity yes, at all. Not even grandma. <laughs> Why don't you sit down, Mom? No, I'm good. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mom. Lori. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> Let's. This is exactly why we don't reach out, Mom. Um. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that something you need to say I'm right just, now? Why don't you just start over, okay? Yeah. Why would you say sorry. something that well, hurtful? She's obviously wasted too. Like, oh my God, this is terrible. This shit. I wanted to kill you. Okay, that's enough for it. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is a little bit too much for you, huh? Why don't we go for a walk, alright? You can't. Mom, look at me. Oh. Look at me. I'm so sad. I really hate to say I told you so, but. Shut the fuck up, Violet! Like, what the hell? <laughs> Why wouldn't you at least go after her and make sure she got in some kind of vehicle to get home? I know y'all aren't close, but the reason that you aren't close is not one for you to hate her over. I never told you how I spent my childhood. I learned how to shoot a gun when I was eight. Oh, I thought she was shooting at you. I learned how to fight. Girl, this is just a regular childhood in the South. <laughs> Social services came when I was 12 years old and took me away my entire life trying to get over the paranoia and neuroses that she has projected on me. That is upsetting. However, if you ever get in a your next situation, girl, you live it. <laughs> I do this all the time. I like being out in the woods. No, I enjoy uh, it, but I'm missing dance class for this. I really love spending time with you, but right now dancing is my thing, you know, and uh -huh. it really hits me in the heart. I mean, uh, Dad, look out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The best is up a turn. Patience roaming. Oh, wow. Shit. Back Dad, away. Go. Look. Go. Get out of there. You stay here. Why are you getting out? I really Dad, don't see why you're. Careful, please. <laughs> wow. Hey, you fellas, okay? Sometimes being a good Samaritan will get you got real quick. All I'm saying is use discernment, not don't help. But uh, do you want to get your child yanked out of the truck? His cute little ass ought to be in dance class right now. There's been an accident. He ain't no dummy. He immediately he said, come here. I don't know. Baby, don't go check. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. Oh, it's literally the first film all over again. Except for y'all aren't professionals. Coming upon the roaming patients. <laughs> he got out with the gun. <laughs> he ain't no dummy at least. I mean, this could turn awful. If they're just like regular mental patients and not serial killers, you could kill someone by accident and that would be very tragic. But luckily we know you're in the right. <laughs> Ooh, that lighting is beautiful too. Who's that? Is that your daddy? Oh, it's a, it's an officer with blood on the face. Baby, get back in the motherfucking truck. Sweetie, pirouette your ass back over to the Ford. Please. Oh, oh. Officer learned a lot. Why would you do that? Run. Okay, thank you. I will. Yeah. Go, baby. 
Oh my God, this is so unfortunate to abandon your father. It's not right, but it's okay. Just go. Ooh, oh, sweetie, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> but seriously, why did you pop up like that? Generic brand Dr. Loomis? I agree, drive away, sweetness. That was a murder you didn't mean to commit. Ooh, that's Michael. Oh God, killing a child. I actually hate that so much. Say that again. You're never gonna beat my source. Copy that dispatch. I'm on my way. That's um a coach Whitey from Remember the Titans. <laughs> Let's see if he'll be useful. I need assistance and backup right away. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's that little boy's daddy with his neck bones popping out the neck. I've been shot. Okay. You damn skippy, you bet your bottom okay. dollar, baby. He is loose. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Y'all are about to suffer. And this is our only claim to fame. Oh. Slice the base of the skull, scraping my spinal cord. Must you? Michael is in the graveyard planning your death. steps into a stone. <laughs> yeah, this black lady is like, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Yeah, run, sis. That's none of your business. Still checking out these and the pictures oh. we recovered to figure out who's who. That's Hollywood Still, for Queen Sugar. Take a look at this list. Most of them minor offenders, mental patients. One stuck out. Y'all put a bunch of minor offenders on a bus with Meekley Myers. What are we gonna do? Castle Halloween? <laughs> you oughta, you oughta. <laughs> if we're being 100, you need to uh, administer some flyers, a local news alert, a tweet, whatever the fuck you gotta do to keep people in the homes. And y'all need to be out paroling the streets. It's your J-O-B to protect the fools of Haddonfield. How long must they suffer? He is definitely gonna snatch that mask at his earliest opportunity. Was that him? Exactly. How bad do you really have to go? Mm. You're sitting on the seat? <laughs> oh, girl, if Michael don't get you gangrene, will. You might as well die quick. I don't care how many tissue papers you put down, you could not pay me to sit on that toilet seat. Oof. <gasps> Scream. Let the people outside know. How could you still be sitting there with your ass out? Excuse me, sir. someone's in here. Hello? <gasps> He's dead already. I didn't assume y'all would die so quickly, but... <gasps> sir, his face has been... <laughs> wow, did he strip you to get that jumper? Michael, why does some poor vehicle technician always have to lose his shirt over your shenanigans? Girl, get your ass up. Oh, there's teeth! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, they're teeth. <laughs> the fact that you just pulled your pants up. <laughs> a dumb bitch. The fact that you're just now screaming. <laughs> a dumb bitch. And soon to be a dead bitch. Girl, kick, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you see a weapon has been dropped. You need to come out and do something. Two, two is better than one. He gonna be dead by the time you come out. Mm. Oh. Oh. This is brutal. Oh, girl. This is so bleak. I understand that you're most people in the situation, but the way you handle that, devastating. All of this so he could get his face mask. The dawning of the mask. What I want to know is who slicked back the hair for you. Much scarier, this mask. Much scarier. There you go, Lori. Mm-hmm. Girl, get right back on your bullshit. <laughs> what? A trap door for her trap floor? 
nothing but respect for my queen. <laughs> like, wow. Ready. Born ready. Will not have to die because I stay ready. Good luck to the rest of you hoes. Especially you, Miss Naysayan daughter. Ray? Allison? Eric? That goofy ass husband. Gotcha! <laughs> Oh, this is a terrible way to talk to your daughter, but you're not wrong. The bus crashed. What? Look, I have a plan. Where's Allison? We need to get out of here now. The world is not a dark and evil place. It's full of love and understanding, and I'm not like- What? You're stupid, girl. Even if it wasn't for Michael, that would be a lie. No, you need to go. Get out. I hate that y'all are going to have to learn this lesson through death, but that's what it's going to take. And sometimes that's how a bitch got to be done. Mm. Yeah, it's everybody's worst nightmare, folks. <laughs> He's back. Lauren, she is on scene. Oh. She is getting the info. Oh. She is trying to prepare her family. <sighs> She's everything. It's a hospital gown. You know I was there that night. I was there. Mm. We have one order of business. That's to hunt this thing down. I'm glad you know. <laughs> Imagine being a young child in Haddonfield and not being terrified. I know y'all weren't born when it went down, but come on. Many a hoe died that night. <sighs> he has upgraded from bare hand to weapon. Oh, just like in Halloween 2, another woman out here making a spam sandwich about to lose a life. Just brutally killed, just brutally. And he dropped the hammer and upgraded to the spam knife. <laughs> she didn't even get one bite of that sandwich, I'm sure. There's a baby in the home. Michael, leave that baby be. Please, please, please don't stab a baby in his crib. Michael, have some shame. Thank you. Ugh. Ma'am, you've already been chosen. No! Huh? Let them see at least. Oh, oh! You guys are seriously beautiful. You seriously both. Give me a smile. Give me a big smile. Oh my god. I can't even enjoy your cross gender body and Claude because I'm still really from that woman getting the next. Oh my gosh, I wish that you were here. It is so much fun. I wish I was there. I'm so fucking bummed. It's just like Stop so cursing in front of the baby. Like... Where'd you go? No, Girl. <laughs> when your grandmama calls on Halloween, it needs to be an immediate answer. Jolene's parents are gonna be back at the Lexi Relay. I love you. I heard you telling your friends to come over here and you're gonna smoke some weed. No. <laughs> Buy some other kind of babysitter. She'd be reading me a story. I wouldn't be up covering my nasty ass toenails. Oh. You used to be cool. We used to be friends, but now. Well, he is really giving Lindsay energy. <laughs> the kids that get babysat in this franchise, top tier. Please live, Can sweetness. Door open? Just a crack. Absolutely, baby. You holler if you need anything. Do you hear me? You scream bloody fucking murder. By the way, you're actually my favorite kid I babysit for. Clearly. I like you too. Girl, when I say protect him with your life, I mean that shit. If this child is not alive at the end of the film, we gonna have problems. The cheerleaders are mid, comatose. Go girls, give us nothing. <laughs> what? Really? Are you for real? Alice. Not you getting mauled by this big titty tiger right after you met my family. Alice. Yeah, what was that? What? What? Messy. What do you mean what? Fool. <laughs> I don't know what you thought you saw, but like, Kim. Now you want to gaslight me? Came up to me and like whispered in my ear, okay, you don't have to cry about it. It's not that big a deal. Slap him. Slap him. He lied to your face. Okay, can you just I could forgive you kissing the bitch, but you want to lie to my face and treat me like a goddamn dummy? Hell no. <laughs> Is that your phone? He just threw in that pudding? You can get that. You want me to get it? 
Do you have a knife? Stab him. When Michael gets you, I won't help. <laughs> Oh my god! Oof. Oof. I love Farmer it. John. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> so hot all of a sudden. Hey. I went to cut this tattoo because tonight is the night. Okay, come here. What? Who was that? Yeah, that's probably just Jillian. Would you go look? Right. Oh, fuck me. There's not someone in the hallway standing outside my door. <gasps> Ghosts and goblins. Shut up, Dave. I heard the room. <laughs> Don't play with me, Dave. Okay, all right, come on, I got you. Let's get Dave first. <laughs> Julian is my baby. That's my child. That's my son. In the door. I'll check it out. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing in here? Girl, don't play with him. Nikki. Why are you playing with this Take perfect baby? Girl. <laughs> girl. Gotcha. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're safe. You should wait till your 18th birthday to use those words, but <laughs> I'm with you, baby. <laughs> Paul Bunyan is definitely about to get the axe. You close the closet door. Why won't it close? Because there's someone in there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> run, Julian. Okay, girl, now you run. Okay, come on out. Okay. Oh, girl. Oh, slipping and sliding in these socks. Oh, she's already cut too. Oh no. Oh babe, I'm sorry. As long as Julian gets away, I don't want you to die, but I need the baby to live. No, Julian! Oh, even she was like, run, Julian, baby, don't die over me. You got this. You're gonna get killed, baby. I would not leave her though. I was dazed. Bad for her. She didn't deserve it. Of all the bitches in this movie, she didn't deserve it. Oh, that's Julian. Julian, run over and tell Coach Integration that you saw a murder. Oh, that wasn't him. Where's Julian? I thought that was the movie. What is that sound? Somebody is Texas Chainsaw Massacring outside my apartment. Like, can you even imagine? What? What could that be? This is just like the first night I watched Halloween. A free for all. <laughs> Nostalgia. Let me feel sheriff's department. Oh, sweetie. Please respond. Get out of here! No! <laughs> Get inside! Oh my god, Lori is saving lives! She does not give a fuck what she has to do. <laughs> she will live and save as many people along the way as she can. I love her for it. I love her for it. But it's interesting because she's also not a well survivor, you know? She's quite traumatized. <gasps> it literally is like the first Halloween, Michael. Are you jokes again? Or did you set somebody else up in this ghost joke? <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. Does he see you, Lori? I know you know this face, fucker. Michael! <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like me. Michael! <laughs> Just stop, Michael. Oh! Wow, Dave. There you go. First one to get a bullet in him is Lori. I know that's right. <sighs> the day of his death is tattooed on his arm. Bleak. Okay, girl. We done used two of five. Six tops. Oh! love this movie. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it feels real real. Like the shit feels real. Where is he? Oh, you lived. You told me. He only knows how to keep moving and to keep killing. Oof. And he will kill again unless he's kept. You want me to take this injured civilian to go look for a psychopathic serial killer? Sheriff. Why not? What are we doing? We don't need your help right now, Lord. You're just standing here. You definitely need my help. Lori <laughs> Stroh and Dr. Sartain. Also known as generic Dr. Loomis. Also known as GDL. There's a new Loomis. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> you're the coolest, you're the prettiest, and you're the nicest girl in school. Oh. If anyone doesn't appreciate that, they're a crazy person. So he loves you. It's very sweet. I know a shortcut. This is what has intrigued me through my studies. How does a crime like Michael's affect him? Is he on a random path, or is he emotionally driven? Perhaps some unheard marching order imprinted on his very being. Ooh, yikes. We get a fine. Remember, he's property of the state. He mustn't be harmed. Property of the state, he mustn't be harmed. Girl, I'll be for real. If I get the chance, I'ma dead him. Oh lord. <laughs> Bitch, you're wearing a Christmas sweater. <laughs> it's not safe here. Where's Allison? Where is she? Where's Allison? Answer me, daughter. Do you want to live to see Christ's birthday or no? <laughs> I can't get in touch with you, and they're making us go to your grandmother's house because it's safe. Sweetheart, this is your grandmother. There is a police officer waiting at your house. To bring you to us. Look, she is calm and collected. No, do as I say. That's my girl. <laughs> do as I say. Take my hand. <laughs> you did it, yeah. What are you oh my god, he's trying to kiss you. Back up! I was just cheating on. You're going in too hot too soon. What the fuck? I, what, you're not with Cameron anymore. This is not. You think it's this open season? I want to be with you. You cannot tell Cameron about this. I, I, I didn't feel anything either. I swear. I I'm going home. You can figure your own shit out. Beautiful bodies got me all choked out, Allison. Ew. Please, sexy ways. There's Michael. Oh, I... He's gonna sling your body over them spikes like a Frank on a toothpick, baby. <laughs> don't look like one of them little cocktail I mean, weenies by the end of the scene. Right. I'm, I'm just. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to trespass on your yard. And she, Get I just up. really like her, man. And I, you just. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'll just, uh, I'll piece out of your hair, man. Oh my god. I just know. Where'd you go, man? You're acting really sketchy right now. I don't... What's up? I'm, Terrifying. I'm right Terrifying! No. Stop. bad at screaming it sounds like a joke i'm sure that lori had her daughter practice her screams as well oscar <gasps> oh what did i say <laughs> they definitely coded it for us but still okay girl do you want to stand there and be an hors d'oeuvre as well get going exactly <laughs> the thing you've been hearing about your whole goddamn life it's come to fruition. So whoever you have looking for her is obviously not able to identify her. Do you see how you're panicking? Like, I trained you to be able to handle the situation. Get it together, daughter. Act like you my spawn. Are you kidding? My mama is a joke. I want to be put in the loving embrace of my maternal grandmother. Back in your houses. What's this? It's our safe dungeon. You lucky you even got an invite, husband. The fact that most of them are long range weapons as well. That's my Lori. <laughs> if you let this bitch get up on you, it's already over. And stopping power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he waited for this night. He's waited for me. I waited for him. Mm -hmm. Wow, y'all are both so sick. <laughs> Let's see who comes out on top. Keep your eyes open. He's out here somewhere. Get him! Here we go. Don't hit him! What do you mean, don't hit him? Why would we not hit him? Don't shoot him. Is it smart for both of you to get out of the car? You killed him. He's dead. Exactly. Dr. Loomis did not train you to assume he's dead after one more time. Step away from the suspect. Step away. What the hell are you? What is this? You're not Dr. Loomis. You're the anti-Loomis. You're whatever the opposite of Dr. Loomis is. Dr. Doomis. Oh my God. Y'all, what the fuck? Who is this man? Why? So, this is what it feels like. What are you, the ringleader of Thorn? <laughs> He's obsessed with becoming like Michael? You put the mask on your own sick fucking face? 
girl, as soon as he opens that door, no, you need to be over on his side. So when he opens it, you should have kicked the door on him. He's putting you back there with Michael. He's putting Michael back there with you. Crawl across and lunge at him. He only has one arm. These people want to kill this man. The crimes you observe. The most important opportunity to understand the mind of evil, you see. We'll be ready. Ready for what? A reunion. We? Michael's pursuit of Laurie Strode would be what keeps him alive. I've never heard him speak, is he? In spite of my encouragement, he remains unresponsive. He spoke to me. Uh, when he murdered my friend, he spoke to me. Oh, she's what gonna spin a tale for her own survival. Yeah. I like it. Let me go, and I will tell you what he said. You must tell me, and I must know you must Let know. me go, and I'll tell you what he said. What is that? That's weird, right? <sighs> Was it the sister's name? Judith? Ew, he's rising. <laughs> Michael, get, get him, not me. He's the one that knocked you out. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Do more. 606 to 601. Hawkins. Okay, girl. Yeah, there you go. Into the woods, sweetie. Whatever. He's their problem now. <laughs> I'm going to my grandma's. <laughs> Say something. Why is everybody so desperate to hear the vocal? He smashed your head like it was a zombie skull. Ooh, with the brains oozing all down the block. Hawkins, please respond. Please respond. I know Hawkins. It's over. Dispatch me advice to get a man down. <laughs> oh my god, it's like he can teleport. The lights. I've been preparing for this for a long time. You want him to come here. I want it to be over, dum dum. I'm so sorry, Betty. He's gonna come regardless. <laughs> like you need to get with it. Like yeah, I would have preferred if I could have fought him uh, 40 plus years ago, <laughs> and then maybe, just maybe, I could have lived to raise my daughter. But instead, I've been having to toil away in preparation while you abandoned me and called me crazy, even to my grand thing. Gonna go outside and get dead. Any word? Who told you to come out of the house? Hey. <laughs> oh, you jack o' lantern your fucking head? <laughs> oh. Look at your husband's out there getting killed. Do you wanna see so it don't have to be you next? Go on and look. <laughs> Dead. Michael's here. Get downstairs. Go, baby, go! Oh. Lori can keep the finger on the trigger because she knows. <laughs> if I'm pointing, I'm shooting. I'm gonna fuck. Oh! Oh! Ooh, no! No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Lori, come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. We didn't survive 40 years for nothing. Not to get lifted at our own fucking front door before we even got a lick in. There we go. Lift it up. Get him. Shoot the hand. I don't give a fuck what it is. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Don't just shoot. rigged up like a monster truck. Mm. I was wrong to raise you the way I did. I at least I could protect you. I know you thought this was my cage. Girl, don't be too scared. This is my motherfucking house of horrors. I built this shit to take him down. Lori, I have every faith in you, girl. Get his ass. I know it won't be over because we got two more films, but get his ass. At least for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait there, baby. <laughs> Girl, ain't nobody even chasing you anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lori's killing field. Don't stand her screaming over these mannequins. That's the least of your worries. You can spoke too easily. I mean, it's, it is scary. <laughs> Let me not play. It's scary. <laughs> Clear 
room, close the room. I know that's right. Girl, why would you keep the mannequins in this room? All the mannequins should live in the field. Why keep the backup mannequins in our home? <laughs> oh, went and dragged that body in here? <laughs> oh, oh my God, Michael, stop! Uh, why are you so effective in hiding? <laughs> she stays strapped with multiple weapons. <laughs> My baby. All right, Lori. All right, Lori. Look. Everything's a weapon. I'll fucking bite you to death. I don't care. <laughs> no. Oh, grandbaby, showing up just in time to get killed. Mom, grandmother. You're not the only bitch that can survive a roof drop. Lori. Y'all got a lot of nerve shunning her for years and years and using her trap door to survive. We'll accept it, we'll allow it. Why? Because that's what Lori will want. He won't struggle with it for too long. We know his strength. I'm sure he has, but to huff and puff and blow that island down. You ought to be arming yourself, okay? Did your mama teach you nothing? Why did you spend so much time unlearning the lessons exactly? That's your gun, girl. Mom, help us! I can't do it! Did I raise a punk ass bitch? Find a way, girl. Do you want to protect your daughter or no? Fire! Thank you! Okay, you are your mama's daughter. Respect. <laughs> Sorry. We've been waiting. We've been waiting. Okay, frying pan will do. Okay, get the skillet business. <laughs> yeah, Allison first. <laughs> he always rides with like a corpse. Oh, Violet. Somebody should be shooting him. Yes, Allison. Do something. Yes, Allison. Yes, Allison. That's right, okay. A trio of witches who kill, that's what we are. <laughs> oh, wow. Lori, your home is a certified motherfucking kill chamber. I have so much respect for you. It's not a cage, baby. It's a trap. Oh, beautiful. Like, actually, it sings. It's so good. <laughs> ah, you look so creepy. Okay, y'all, flee the home. Let's not get blowed up along with him. Excellent. <laughs> I loved it. I know there's a bit of mixed feeling about the new timeline. Not everybody is 100% behind it, but personally, for this only two year fan of the Halloween franchise, absolutely fucking fruit lootly that is so good. I loved it. I had such a good time. Lori is giving everything. She's giving H2O times 10. I'm delighted. I love the introduction of Judy Greer as the daughter, Miss Violet. I love the granddaughter. Everything about it, like yes, yes, yes. Julian, the little boy. I can't. Uh, I wish we could know exactly what happened with him. I hope that he resurfaces in the next couple films. I don't know if he will, but <laughs> no. What's not to love about that? An appropriate addition to the franchise. It definitely revives it in a fun way that isn't disrespectful to any of the originals absolutely a 1 million percent upgrade from what we just suffered with Resurrection. 
I'm gagged. It's so good. <laughs> It has me sweating. I'm hot. I literally sat here and sweated out my blowout. It brought the fear back into it. I was afraid <laughs> watching that. It was spooky. I have all good things to say, honestly, about this addition to the franchise. I want to know what y'all have to say about it. Talk to me about Halloween 2018, our new timeline, our new girl. I might honestly, I might go ahead and watch the next one right now so that we can just go ahead and be caught up. Y'all. Wow. Michael is so, he's nastier, spookier, and scarier than he's ever been since the very first one, honestly. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with the next two. It, ooh. This is what spook was made for, okay? <laughs> Feelings that I'm feeling right now are what spook is supposed to give us. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. So ready to put my hair in a ponytail. I'm hot after watching that. Talk to me about Halloween. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>